Hello and welcome to the first of my editing tutorials. This is Haysborough Lighthouse, which I shot just the other weekend on the Norfolk coast. Rather beautiful sunset it was when I was out walking the dog. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get the vlog of this uploaded soon as well, so you can see a few more of the shots I took from here. But what today is about is just showing you how to quickly achieve this edit effect on here using Lightroom. I'm on the latest version here, I'm on the Creative Cloud, so this is January 2020. Uh, just to date stamp the version I'm on, I don't really tend to keep up to date uh, what we're sort of running on Lightroom basically, because it's just keep paying and away we go. But yeah, so the idea is just to show you how you can achieve this simple look, quickly edit a photo, it's going to take us five minutes just to run through, and like every finish, just a quick edit, just to make things look really nice. So you can see on here, this is the history section here on the left hand side of the frame, and we can go back down to where we imported the image, just so you can see how it looks. And as we run up, just keep an eye on this left hand side here, and you'll see how the image slowly changes as we apply our edit and our, our effect basically actually onto the image as a whole. So it's small little changes which do make a big difference on the actual shot. And at the end, of the result there, that's what we got there. So just so you can see, that's what we ended up with as well. And yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a nice image that I'm, I'm quite pleased with that I shot. I wasn't going to go out this day to shoot, but I decided to. So first things first is a lot of people say you work from the top down to the bottom, but to me it's uh, not so important to be doing that. For me, the main things are is getting the key bits done right. So first things off, when we're doing this, looking at getting this image level. So straight away here, just by applying the auto correction on here as well, that is going to straighten up and tilt over the image so it is nice and straight for you on there. It's also going to use the edges of the building here as well. If we zoom in, you, they're going to be raised up quite nice as well. So just using the scroll key when we're on here on the mouse, we can then start to raise things up quite cool as well. And if we turn on our highlight clipping warning and our shadow warning as well, it's just going to let us know if anything gets overexposed or underexposed. As you can see here, the blue, cold blue feeling are coming off of there. That's going to be warning us that there's underexposure going on there as well. So the, the, if you were to print that, there's going to be no data stored in that part of the image. It's just going to come out pure black. So we've been a little bit wary of that, but there are some extremes of the highlights which I've exposed for here on the left. And you have got the dark parts and the crop and around the house here as well. So there's no getting away from that. So in how we achieve this quick edit sort of look as well, what we want to be looking in for is I tend to give it a little bit of clarity. We don't want to be going too mad on that. A little bit of texture as well. It's going to bring the detail up and everything. Raise up our shadows as well. We don't want to be going too crazy on that because that will start to make the image look a little bit sort of unrealistic and really start to bring in some like horrible artifacts into this shot as well that we're not going to like as well. Bring our highlights down as well. You're going to see it's going to be really starting to bring this cloud texture out around here as well. So uh, just by clicking left on the mouse when you're on the image, you'll start to be able to zoom in. I do tend to keep my zoom on one to one. It's quite a good work and ratio for when you're sort of seeing what's going on here as well. And from there, what we want to be doing is before we start making any changes, really, we need to be getting our white balance set. So for me, easiest way to be doing that is just get onto your the little pipette here and click on that. And then using this target area here, you can see how that changes as we move the mouse over. And if you keep an eye on the left hand corner up here, you'll see the change is going to make to the image. So obviously our image wasn't certainly not that green off when we took it. We are looking for the whites and what's actually is white on here as well. I mean, pretty much got it right in camera, but little tweak on there. Jump out of the image, you'll see the difference we're going to get coming out of there it's just pushed a little bit more of a glow into the actual image on there as well and for me that scene to just just caught it just right on there as well now so again we can start to be thinking about pushing the whites up maybe a little bit as well blacks just a bit as well and that's just lifted these corners out here absolutely perfectly and again what we can then be doing start to look on this on the curves here just maybe bring down highlights a little bit the overall whites on the whole shot as well 
darks up a little bit, the shadows up a little bit as well, and it starts to really add in quite a bit on the detail on there as well. Now, what I needed to do for this shot as well was just add in a grad filter up here. Automatically, the exposure clips onto there, one stop. So, if we double click on the word exposure, that will bring that that will bring that value back down to zero. So from here, we just need to position where we want this effect just to be going on there. And all I'm looking to do is just bring in a little bit of contrast over the sky, just to make it a little bit more moody. Push the whites up a little bit as well, just to give it a little bit of banding coming over here and just to darken out this corner, just to give it a bit more of a moody sort of feel on the whole sort of shot as well. And click on done on there. And again, we can just see what a grad filter effect. So it's only a little bit which has gone on there, but it's just dark enough that corner brought in a little bit more light into the middle on the shot here as well. As I said, it's just a quick edit just so we can take you through a few of the features on the uh, on Lightroom itself. And from on there, let's just double check we've got everything as we want it. So exposure, maybe up that a little bit. It's starting to work out quite nicely. There we go. So 0 0.12 on there. That seems to have gone through quite nicely. But what I am going to apply on here maybe it's a little bit more vibrance as well. So plus five on the vibrance. It's just brought those yellows up a little bit more as well. And then the sharpening is automatically set to 40. I am going to drop that down just a little bit as well. And then for this shot on here as well, what I wanted to do is just really sort of emphasize this light here in the, the lighthouse as it is as well. So we can apply a little vignette. You see it gets a little bit mad, get too much. I'm not a big fan of big, huge vignettes and it all looking a little bit crazy like you're looking through some sort of like round window. It's so like minus seven. It's just darkened off the corners just a little bit. And remember we've got that warning sign that the, the blues of the exposure is going to go down too low as well. And you start to see they start to creep in if we go a little bit too crazy as well. And uh, yeah, I think about there works out quite nicely on there as well. And from there, I'm kind of happy how all that lays out there now. So there's only one last little bit that I did notice, which is up by the image here, and that is just here. It's a little dot we've got coming up on the frame there. And what we want to be doing is getting our on heel on here. So this is our um, so this is basically our spot healing brush on here. Feathers up quite a way on there. Opacity is at 100% as well. So if you look on there, the feather is quite far out in there because we want it to be able to taper in quite nicely to make this adjustment. We don't want it to be too crazy. You don't want to be able to see it as well. So click on there. It automatically selects where it's going to choose it from. If you want to, you can move it around. But I say it has chosen quite a good location to be taking it from. And leave that on there now. That's happy. Click on done. That's also finished as well. And there we go. So I think the image there is looking kind of nice. I'm liking how it's all coming out quite cool on there as well. And what we can do is maybe just mess around with our whites a little bit more. So we don't be going too max. It's going to start to blow out the detail on here. But it has started to add it in here a little bit. So what I'm trying to do is just get a little bit more of the detail on here. So go back onto our grad filter, click on there so we can reapply some effects onto that one as well. Perhaps even just bring up our exposure just a touch. And it's going to start to bring out the detail in those clouds on there. Contrast, I certainly want it to be too far on there. And a little touch more on the exposure. And give it a little bit more on the clarity to make it a bit more crazy on there as well. And maybe just drop this down. Yeah, so you need a little bit more playing with on there. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for on there. And then done on there. And then just run down to here as well. Tend to find just giving it a few clicks on the noise as well. It's just going to help just make sure it's nice and tidy on there. 
and then from there I'm happy to say the image is finished. So thank you ever so much for tuning in for this quick session here on the editing as well and as always feel free to share and feel free to comment on what you, th what you like. All the best, take care.